Um, when you are talking to these church leaders, mm -hmm. uh, what are some of the points, maybe three, four points of your message to them? Well, there are a number of things that I like to share. I think the most important of our day, though, is understanding how gay theology is beginning to intrude upon the church um, and how people are throwing out transformation of lives as if it's bathwater mm -hmm. instead of the gospel itself. We're called to be born again. We're called to be transformed into, the, into his likeness. We're called into renewal of the mind. Hebrews 12, mm -hmm. um, submission of the body, and not just that, but, but beyond celibacy, we're called to become men and women of God, made in, remade in his own image from mm -hmm. the inside out. And that's a magnificent process the Holy Spirit does in our life. The very person of God is interested in every element of our lives and wants us to be conformed into the image of Jesus and align with our biological gender which is sex mm -hmm. our sex that we were born with he knit us together he's the creator he intended for uh, a person to be a boy or a person to be a girl and gave evidence through the body that that's mm -hmm. the case and when things don't line up with that then great pain occurs for the little ones and the adults who kick against the goads so to speak of nature mm -hmm. and that is devastating the outcome is devastating so that 40% of people successfully take their lives after having had, having had the, the sex surgery, change. Yeah. which is why John Hopkins sh shut down the program. Mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Paul McHugh, he was the, the gentleman that ass assessed the program that uh, John Hopkins University was undergoing, and he said, you know, people aren't any better after mm -hmm. the surgery than before. In fact, they're worse. Um, so he shut it down. You would think that uh, after surgery, things should improve. Yeah. Um, I can't tell you how refreshing what you just said mm. is. Thank you. You still got to preach against sin. Doesn't matter who it is. You know, if we coddle this group, uh, say homosexuals, uh, you, then you got to coddle the adulterers. And all this, it, it's across the board. The message does not change right. at all. And hope is contagious. Mm -hmm. Hope of Jesus entering in and changing a life to reflect him the way mm -hmm. it was always intended to that lines up with scripture mm -hmm. is really where the rubber meets the road. That's where the dynamic process of the Holy Spirit's at work. How magnificent. I love that word you use, transform. Mm. Um, because trust me, maybe I've interviewed more former homosexuals than certainly than most people, Christian networks. And you get this sense sometimes they're to be pitied or something or make a little wiggle room here. Right. But it's still wrong. And the power of God can change anybody. That's right. It hasn't, it hasn't changed at all. I know. And that's the beauty of the gospel, isn't it? Yeah, why? It's the very core message. Uh huh. 